Hey guys, and welcome to my first Cata Classic video. In this one, I'm going to be showing you the best way to make gold in Cata Classic. With this method, you can make hundreds of thousands of gold every single day with spending less than one hour actually playing the game. And there's only one way you can do numbers like that in Cata Classic, and that is with flipping. So flipping is really good in Cata Classic. There is a few new markets that you can make a lot of gold from. In this video, I'm gonna teach you a bit about flipping and how it works. I'm also going to jump on one of the realms that I'm not flipping on. I'm currently flipping on multiple different realms in Cata Classic, but there's one that I haven't started flipping on already, and I have a bit of gold sitting on that realm from Wrath. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to jump over onto that realm, and I'm going to set up my flipping character and show you how I would get started personally with the amount of gold that I have on that specific realm, which is left over from Wrath. Also, we'll show you some of the approximate profits to make from some of these flips and what I would go about doing to get started in flipping. So let's get right into it. If you're new to flipping and you don't actually know what it means, it is where you buy an item for a cheaper price and you resell it for a higher price and you keep the profit in between. You basically play the auction house, buying things for cheap, reselling them for a higher price. Now when doing this, you really need one add-on, which is called TSM. Now with TSM, it will show you price data for items. you also be able to make groups. So these groups are all the groups inside of my Cata flipping guide. So we've got all the best materials, the best BOEs to flip, from the leveling BOEs all the way up to the level 85 BOEs. We also have groups for all the mounts, the pets, the recipes. Now all these groups are sorted out in subgroups to make the groups a bit smaller to increase the scan time. We also have toys. Now this is the new market in Cata Classic, the transmog market. And there is a lot of gold to be made in this. We have one main group, which is the best transmogs, and it has the top 100 transmog items that I recommend flipping in Cata Classic. Now with this group, you can make some ridiculous amounts of gold. Like I'm talking 10K, 20K, 50K, 100K profit of one single item. These items are worth a lot and you can make a lot of gold from flipping them. We also have all the rest of the transmogs that are in the game. We have them all sorted out by subgroups. So if you wanna sort and you wanna scan only all the epics for all the armor pieces, you can go ahead and do that. You can also scan all the blues or all the greens or every single armor piece that is a transmog piece in Cata Classic. We also have the same layout for the weapons, so all the different weapons, and you can scan them all differently with the subgroups of the epic, rare, and uncommons, which is just your purples, your blues, and your greens. And then we also have a group for the twink items. But this group right here, the best transmogs, this is one of the best groups if you have a decent amount of gold to play around with. So on this round, we currently have 71K left over from Wrath, and so what we're going to do, first of all, we're going to scan the best transmog groups. Now some of these items can go for a lot of gold, and I've been making heaps of gold from flipping these items. So these are the best of the best transmog items in Cata Classic. Now this realm is a more low pop realm, so all of the 100 um, items are probably not posted up, up on the auction house. But if you're playing on another realm that's medium pop or high pop, pretty much all of the items should be posted up on the auction house. So what we're going to do is we're going to go through this group. When the group is scanning, what it's going to do is going to scan all of the items that are in the specific group that you have selected, and it's going to bring them all up. Now, when we're doing flipping, the main thing we want to pay attention to is the percent over on the side here. This is the market value. This is the average price over the past 14 days on your specific realm. So it's really important. Now what I like to do is I like to sort this from the lowest percent to the highest percent. If it's at 100%, that means it's at the price that it should be on average for the past 14 days. The lower the percent is, it means more of a good deal it is. So as you can see, we've got a couple here that are 7%, 21%, and 50%. So what I like to do is I like to only look at items that are under 75% of the market value. This way they give you a lot of room for profit. So the lower the better. So the first thing that I would do with this scanned group is I would start off with the very first ones, which are 7% of the market value. Now what I would do then is I would see what the tooltip for TSM says about these items. 
So if we hover over the item, we can see the market value for this is 11.7K. And buying it for 800 gold means we're going to be able to make a lot of gold profit from flipping that. And then we'll do the same thing for all of the items all the way up to 75% of the market value. Two other things that I like to look at on the TSM tooltip would be the region sale average. This is the average price the item has sold across all the different realms on your region. Another important thing is the region sale rate. This will give you a number and the higher the number is, the quicker the item will sell. So when buying transmog especially, but all items that you're flipping, you wanna make sure that it's got a, as high as possible region sale rate. This means it will sell even quicker if you just stick to all the ones that have a much higher number in the region sale rate. So what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and buy some of these items. We do have a decent amount of gold to play around with, so we will be buying some of the more high ticket items that can give us a bit more profit. So we'll start off with buying two of these right here, and that's gonna cost us 1.6K. We also have this ax right here. We've got two of them posted up on the auction house at the moment for 1K each, and the market value for this is 14K. So this could be another really good buy. Let's go ahead and buy two of those. So now we're up to, from one, 2.6K, and now we're at 3.6K for both of them. So all the items that we just brought, we spent 3.6K on. Let's go ahead and post them up on the auction house, and we'll see how much gold they are currently worth. So as you can see, the axes are 21K and 17K for the staff. That's a total of 78K that we've just put up on the auction house from only spending 3.6K gold. When using the operations from my Cata flipping guide, it will only post items at a profitable price, so at 20% profit or more. So if you're new to flipping, you don't have to worry about looking at the price. My operations will calculate everything for you. They'll calculate how much you paid for an item and they'll figure out which is 20% profit margin on that item, and that'll be the minimum amount of gold you'll be getting back is 20% profit, and this scales up to a way higher percent, and you can make a lot more gold. On average, you're not gonna be selling the items for only 20% profit, but this is the minimum amount that the operations will get for the item. Say there's no competition, what the operations will do is we'll post them for a higher price, as high as possible, where the item will still sell. Now this is a really good flip right here. We only paid 34 gold for these right here. Now these are some legs from the Solithus Transmog Farm. And as you can see, they're worth 9,107 gold. And we only paid like 34 gold for these. So that would be a really good flip. Now if you don't have much gold, things like that are really good to look out for and you can make a lot of gold off flipping cheap items and then reselling them. But if, uh, if you have a bit more gold, you can focus on some of these big items, like the Blade of Wizardry. We're gonna spend 11K each and buy two of these right now. So the amount of gold we're spent now is 33.4K, but these are gonna sell for 24K each. Now we have a total of 158.5K uh, posted up on the auction house, which is absolutely crazy for only spending 33.8K. We can play around with a few cheaper items right here. Um, some of these cheaper items are still worth doing because what you want to do is you want to fill up your auction house with a bunch of different items that you're flipping. You don't want to just have five items because you're not going to see consistent sales. What you want to do is you want to have a bunch of different sales. So here is a really good flip right here. We've got this pet right here. Now there's a few of these posted for 5K and a few posted for 6K and one posted for 10K. What we're going to do is we're going to buy all of these out. So every single one of these we have just brought out. For this reason, we'll be able to repost them for 22K each. And when these sell, which they sell pretty well because they're actually one of the best pets that people are after, then you can make a lot of gold from doing this. So at the moment we spent 62.2K. After we post these bad boys up on the auction house, the approximate profit is going to be 200 and 60k which is absolutely insane so what i'll do now i only have around 9k left over on this round what i'll do is i'll focus on some cheaper items and i'll try to build out the auction house so i have a decent amount of different items posted up on the auction house some of these items i'll spend under 100 gold all the way up to 1000 gold and that would make 
anywhere back from, you know, 1K all the way up to 10K profit. And I'd fill out the auction house by doing these items. However, if you'd like to learn more in depth way how to flip in Cadet Classic, you can find exactly that inside of my Cadet Classic flipping guide, which will be the first link down below in the description box. You will also get my TSM groups and the operations that I have set up and personally I'm using inside of the Cadet flipping guide. So if you want to check it out, it will be the first link down below in the description box. I'd like to thank everyone that has already gotten a copy of the Cadet flipping guide and all the positive feedback it has got so far. It really means a lot. You also will get access to a Discord where I'll personally and the team will help you out with any questions you have related to flipping. Until the next one guys, take care.